My name is Adam Bean and today I would like to present you a new version of Lightfish. So Lightfish is a small Java 7 application which uh, runs within Glassfish v4 and is able to monitor Glassfish v3 and um, v4 applications, so Java 6 and Java 7 applications. And so how it, how it actually works or how to, down, how, how to start with uh, Lightfish. Um, the best is to just uh, go to the page lightfish.adambean.com and there is a download button and you will be able to, to download the recent release, a war, just drop it to, um, to, to, to Glassfish, to the deploy folder and it should work. So um, the start screen is a GSF application, so you can use that. If you click for instance on start, it will record every two seconds uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the, all the metrics to a, to, a, to a database. But even more interesting, so there is um, a Java FX application and you can use that to monitor applications. So um, Lightfish exposes all the API through uh, RESTful Web Services and JSON. So I could just um, activate the monitoring and for instance um, start capturing every two seconds. So I clicked on start and what should happen right now? Yeah, it captures the um, values from the application. So you see here the heap size, the thread count, the peak thread count. There are also um, transactions. So we see uh, there's uh, a couple of commits going on. Uh, paranormal activity uh, is also nice. So what it actually is, you can see whether the application server is overloaded or not. So you see here the number of queue connections, errors, and, um, and how many threads are actually busy. busy. Performance, commits per second, uh, so rollbacks per second you shouldn't be proud of. And uh, you can monitor the number of HTTP sessions and of course the pools. But um, even more interesting in the version um, 1.3, what you, you, you are able to monitor the EJBs and application components. So what I would like to do is to monitor Lightfish itself. So um, I can just um, um, go through the beans and you'll see here um, number of created beans is one and destroyed also one. There are no threads waiting and um, there's also no, um, no high number of threads. And what you can do, you can find out what are actually the slowest methods. So I will see here, the get bean statistics seems to be uh, the slowest method of the bean because it takes 500 milliseconds. And um, yeah, there is a um, configuration store is probably the most interesting one because it saves every two seconds now all the statistics to a database. So you see here that the um, method uh, save um, takes about um, yeah, four milliseconds in, to in 33 uh, milliseconds in total. So um, yeah, Lightwish is really useful for stress testing. And, um, and now with this extension, you can just monitor your applications without any plugins or, or tools. It just runs out of the box on Glassfish v4. So thanks for, uh, for watching and see you one of the upcoming conferences, workshops, or even air hacks. So thank you and bye.